Medicine, Brian Carpenter. Practice full today. Uh, saw the doctor yesterday. The doctor gave him the green light. Uh, the mobility that he didn't have in his finger, he now has, uh, which enabled him to grip the stick and all that stuff. And today was a today was a work day. You know, it's we haven't had a. I mean, last week was a regular week, but we got on the bus early in the week. Um, this gives us, you know, four real good days of preparation, and today was a, kind of a typical Tuesday for us, and he seemed fine. So the status as of right now is that he's being considered to play this weekend. Unless we hear something different from him, that'll be the, that'll be the mindset moving forward. You anticipate him playing there? I, I do, as of, as of right now. Again, any, anything could happen, and we could take steps backwards, right. but I... The anticipation is that, you know, he's he's he sat out the necessary time. He saw the doctor last week, thinking he would get that mobility back. He wasn't able to. He saw him this week. He's now got it back, or getting it back, I should say. And uh, practicing full today means he's he's in the consideration. Uh, and we did not hear anything other than it's fine from Ryan. So you had mentioned before you would probably try to ease him back in terms of the ice time. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. You, you, you know, uh, we don't want to overdo it with Ryan, obviously, but he is in such great shape. It's it's almost you know, what, are, what are we overdoing? You know, what are we waiting on if, if we if he doesn't play the minutes? Um, he just he's been skating the whole time, which you know when you when you have an ankle injury, it's one thing, but you've got a finger injury, you, you can skate. Uh, his his puck skills and timing with the puck probably won't be where it needs to be. Should that limit his numbers or his minutes? Not necessarily. Uh, you know, we want to get back, Kevin, to playing four lines, playing the same way, and we, we've gotten a little bit away from that. So, will he is he a guy that's going to help us with that? Uh, hopefully, and uh, and you know, we, we 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 expect him to contribute on the power play. So. You know, we'll see about the penalty kill. That may be a place where we limit his minutes right now. Um, but I think five on five, the power play, he's going to be in the consideration. Will you go with uh, Cooper Dumont? Uh, well, we're 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 playing with some uh, with some things in the power play right now. So I don't think we've uh, we've gotten a little flat. You know, our, our work ethic, uh, our intensity in the power play hasn't been great. Um, so. We'll, we'll see whose unit he goes with, but uh, chances are you'll see him out there with somebody. Are you making major changes on the unit? Well, I, I, I would. I would. We don't consider major changes. Okay. We just uh, we've got some depth, and it might be time that we use it. You know, quite honestly, and, and, and just to keep guys fresh, to keep them sharp. That uh, being on the power play is not something you can take for granted. You, you have to earn that, and we've gotten a little flat. And going back to. Yeah, Brett, Brett Muller practiced full today. You know, you know, with Brett, it's a little bit different. He was not able to stay in shape, if you will, or push as hard as Ryan was in terms of the conditioning while he was injured. He, as of late, he's been able to do that. That doesn't mean he's not being considered to play this week. That's not what I'm saying. Um, we just His conditioning is something we want to be aware of, we're going to be aware of. He practiced full today, and like I said, it was a hard practice, and he, and he, and he did fine as far as uh, any feedback we got. Uh, so we'll see how he does tomorrow and, uh, and Thursday. So he's really only been skating since Thursday? I mean, skating to, to a level, yes. Yes, the answer to that is yes. And, and, and you know, was he able to condition? I, I think he was given the green light last Thursday to go ahead. Now, we were gone, right. so it wasn't in, in, in regular practice. He was just kind of doing it on his own. But that was the first time he had skated since the injury. And then he's just been full since you guys came back. Correct. Correct. Anybody else heard out of the Mankato series? No. Um, uh, we we had some guys banged up, but uh, uh, we feel like by tomorrow everyone will be um, full practice and, and, and preparing to play. And much like last week, we're continuing all month. Another big challenge with the Yeah. Players. Diff the major difference with this week and last week was is Ferris is a team we know. Uh, we've played a bunch uh, over the last you know, three years, um, including the playoff series. They're a team that uh, is playing good hockey right now. I mean, there's no other way to put that. They, they always have played well at home. 
Like they, they just, the, the most impressive thing to me is it's just the same every year. It's just, it's just a hard team to play against, good goaltending, they defend very well. And every year they seem to have three or four players step up and take their game to another level. I look at Justin Buzio this year. I know Zarnelson is a guy that's been around. Uh, watching him on tape, he looks like Chad Billings from a couple of years ago. It's just, you know, he's rushing the puck and, and very offensive guy. Um, th that's the most impressive to me. And, and, and when I say three years, you can times that by, you know, five for sure. Bobby Daniels and his staff have been doing this for way more than three. It's just for me, it's, it's, it's only my third year as a head coach. So um, with all that being said, it's, it's, it's going to be a difficult challenge for us. Our focus is playing good hockey. That, that, that's going to be our focus. We want to play good hockey both Friday and Saturday night. You cannot go to Ferris and leave things to chance. And you cannot go to Ferris and only give yourself one, one attempt at a victory. You, you, you've got to have good effort, good detail uh, the whole weekend long, both nights. And, uh, and that's our intention. Well, for the most part, for the most part, I mean, watching, you know, we thought we played pretty well on Saturday at Mankato. Watching the tape, we can see why we didn't score. We think we made it pretty easy on the goaltender overall, uh, comparative to what we want to be and, and, and how we want to make life on the, opponent, uh, the opponent's goaltender. Um, you know, are there, are there always details? Yes. For the most part, were we happy with the weekend, with the way we played? For the most part, we were. We had touched a little bit about uh, Cam playing better than the stats had indicated. What do you like about his game? What's well, uh, we made a we made a little change to, to the lines mm -hmm. uh, going into last weekend, and we put Burkle and Cam together. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Polkamp was the winger was their other winger last weekend. Uh, you know, I, I like the fact that he's been pretty consistent from day one to today. I like the fact that. Uh, the layers to his game, although they may not be that offensive layer in terms of that point of game guy or, or, or whatever, he's contributing that way. He has, he has settled into a nice, uh, he, he's been really good on faceoffs. His penalty kill has been, has been good. Um, last week, last Saturday night, him and Adam and Matt, their five on five play, they created nine chances or you know something like that amongst the three of them. Um, they led our team by a mile in, in, in that category in terms of creating chances in the offensive zone. Um, I think when, they're, when he's at his best, he's a relentless guy. He's hard on pucks. He's taking pucks to the net, um, creating offense through that offensive zone play like we want to be strong at, forechecking and so on. Um, and again, I, I think he, he's taken a whole new level to his game with faceoffs. And, and I do, I really like his penalty killing so far this year. And, and that's something that I'm not saying he's been bad in the past, but it hasn't stood out to me as been a real strong layer to his game. Um, we're not trying to change Cam. Uh, we know that he wants to be a guy that contributes offensively. And if he plays the way he's been playing, he will. Uh, it's just, a, I think he can be, those other layers are things you can do every single night and separate yourself because he does get around the ice pretty well and he's six foot two. Um, the, the, those are those are pretty important layers as far as I'm concerned, and the and the other piece is the leadership piece, and you know, obviously his second year as captain, I think he's more comfortable in that role this year, and, and he's done a nice job to this point. You feel like he's a more complete player than, he, than when he came in. Uh, no doubt about it. You know, I I, uh, I know his his first year and only year in Omaha in the USHL, he was he was more of a checking role. Uh, as soon as he got here, he got thrown into an offensive role. Um, you know, can't remember really what kind of penalty killer he was or face-off guy or so on. And we, we, we put so much emphasis on those things and having, having layers to your game and being more of a complete player. And he's accepted that and gotten better at it over his time here. And I think this year you're seeing it. How were you able to get him here? Um, well, we had, uh, you know, I, you've heard me talk about this plenty of times. I mean, we're getting kids that we have relationships with that, that, that trust in what we're doing and believe in the plan. And, and uh, I had a relationship with Cam already. Uh, I, I think that relationship to go along with the opportunity we had for Cam, to go along with the geography and, and, and the, the vicinity it was uh, to his home, uh, 
uh, and those were the combination things. I, I really feel like he looked at the academics like he was going to be a big time student no matter where he went, that he was going to get a big time degree because that's what he expects from himself. Um, so that wasn't something that he, I, I don't think he was teetering on. Uh, I think it was something that he, he, he accepted and, and, and thought, hey, I can get a big time degree at Bowling Green. And then he looked at the hockey side uh, and he looked at, you know, from, from, I think he knew what my history was in terms of being a part of a program that had to transition and so on and so forth. I'm not sure he knew a whole lot about the town. He, he, he'll say himself that him and his mom and dad spent time, you know, in, in, in Bowling Green and looking around and the vibe and the feel they got was all very good. Uh, so I, you know, I really feel his opportunity to play and play close to home uh, were, were a couple things that were probably at the top of the list, but he'd have to answer that for, for sure. sure. Yeah. What about him coming to a program that was going to be in a, a major rebuilding? Yeah, the, I mean, he could have been at Miami. Yeah. Well, those are the those are the uh, situations that I get the most emotional about because those guys took a chance, like Cam. Carpenter, you know, Cam was the first call. I think Carp was the second one in terms of recruiting. And, and these were guys that had Cam gone back to the USHL or, for example, had Ryan Carpenter not been committed when he went back to the USHL, there would have been a line of schools out the door every night. So they could have went to more established schools uh, in terms of hockey. Uh, and they both took a chance. Uh, and, and I hope, and they have to answer it, but I hope they can look back and say, I would do it all over again. Uh, knowing what they've been through and what we've been through together and what they walked into compared to what it is today. And then their role in that, uh, I think that's pretty special stuff. Uh, I know the winning and losing is what we get judged on, but I'm not judging those boys on that or those young guys on that. Um, they took a chance on something that meant something to them and, and a plan. And, uh, and I think they've been great ambassadors for our program and will continue to be.